Hi, uh, we're students from the University of uh, Charleston School of Pharmacy. Uh, I'm Zachary Waterman. I'm Gabrielle. Okay. And we're going to talk to you today about medication safety. So first off, we're going to go into what is Generation Rx. Uh, Generation Rx is a program put on by our school to talk to you guys about how to be medication smart and learning about learning a little bit about uh, medication safety and curing patients. So what are we talking about? Is the four steps to become medication smart. We're going to talk about asthma and what that does to you and some of the causes of asthma. And we're going to discuss the proper way to get rid of unwanted. To, is there some things you want to avoid, like certain foods or drinks that, indi that can interact with your medication? And some of the side effects. What may it do to you that you, it's not so nice? Okay, so to be medication smart, we got to know our, our, we got to know Rex. Uh, Rex is a character that we do uh, in some of our other programs here at the school. Uh, Rex is uh, a prescription bottle. We want to say no to those, okay? So does anybody remember this from your fall presentation from some of the other uh, student pharmacists that came here and talked to you guys? Uh, this is a medication label, and we'll talk, we'll go over a little bit about the parts of it. There's the patient's name, so if it was your medication, that would be your name, your address, how to take your medication, what the medication is, and is she going to go pick up any refills for medication, as well as uh, any other information that was needed by the pharmacy. So what are ancillary labels? They're those little colorful labels that come in the bottle, and they tell you important things like what to avoid, and some of the side effects, and some of the bad things. Your medications as prescribed. Can we have three, uh, four kids please stand up? Now one to sit down. The three still standing represents people that don't follow how they're supposed to take their medication. And you also don't want to share your medications with anyone, even your family. And you want to finish all the medicine as told to you by your doctor. Okay, now we're going to get into asthma. Uh, does anybody in the room have asthma? Um, so, as some of you who have asthma know that it's, it's a problem with your lungs, and it makes it hard to breathe. And some things can cause asthma, and we're going to go into those here in a second. So, what, what causes asthma uh, in your situation? Just yell it out. Okay, great. Um, so, some of the triggers that can go along with asthma are uh, pollen, emotions, weather changes, smoke. Chemicals, dust mites, exercise, and stress. So, how to control your asthma? You want to know some of those things that we just talked about. What that, some of those can cause uh, asthma to you specifically. You want to take your asthma medication as told to you by your doctor, and you want to be aware of when you uh, experience asthma. Some of the symptoms. What were those triggers that just caused your asthma to happen? So these are some of the asthma medication devices. Do you guys know what they're called? Yeah, inhalers, and they can come in different shapes and colors. Okay, does anybody know what this is? This is a nebulizer, and this is in a little bit uh, more severe cases of asthma and some other instances like I had to use one in when I had pneumonia one time. Okay, now we're going to go into how to use your asthma device. So uh, we we have them in the box, and we're going to show you how to use them. So first, you remove the cap and hold the inhaler upright. Then you shake the inhaler. 
Then you'll tilt your head back slightly and breathe out. Then you'll hold the inhaler upright. And then you'll press down on the inhaler to release the medication as you start. Breathe in slowly for three to five seconds. It's like you're holding your breath underwater. Just breathe in before you go. Hold your breath for 10 seconds to allow the medication to get deeply into your lungs. Repeat, the, repeat as directed and wait a minute between puffs to allow the second puff to get into your lungs better. So now we're going to talk about how to get rid of your medication safely. want to get rid of your medication safely. It's important to, that these uh, get rid of medications that are long, no longer needed or may have expired, and you want to get rid of them in such a way that doesn't cause harm to any of your pets, your siblings, or any of like the fish out in the creeks and the streams. You don't want to hurt the environment. How many of you think it's okay to throw out your medication in the trash? Okay, let's see what the answer is. No, you don't want to throw your medication in the trash. Because it can hurt the pets or other animals or even the, the trash guys. How many of you guys like the trash guys? Okay, do you think flushing unwanted pills or anything else you're taking is a safe disposal method? Okay, great, yeah, the answer is no. Um, when medications flush down the toilet, it can make our food make its way in the water system and hurt fish and hurt other humans as well, as we all use water in our hand one way or another. So how are we supposed to dispose of our medications if we can't dispose of it through the trash or we can't dispose of it through flushing it down the toilet? So we're going to talk to you a little bit about um, the medication take back programs. So we're going to give bags to your teacher that uh, you can ask for later. Um, that are de uh, that are used to uh, dispose of medications properly. So you can also go to different programs in your area, like um, local police stations might have some sort of medication take back program, as well as like VA national take back program. So what did you guys learn today? So let's recap. How to take your medication as prescribed, make sure not to share your medication even with your family members, and be aware of asthma and what can cause asthma, and how to get rid of your medications in a safe and a proper way without hurting anybody. Okay, thank you everybody.